NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3. It's about to start now. Um, this is the third Brooklyn show. First one was great. Second one was good. So hopefully this one lives up to it. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to the show. And uh, hopefully we have a great weekend of wrestling. The show starts off with the band Code Orange uh, doing a live mu- mu- musical performance. Um, I thought the band did a good job. And I think if they're going to keep doing these musical performances, they should just do them on the opening of the show uh, instead of the death spot. Because the credits is actually into it. I, th- I actually liked it. And I thought they, uh, they did a good job. So first match is Johnny Gargano and Andre Cien Almas. Gargano got a nice pop. Now Cien Almas is coming with this insanely hot chick. I've never seen her. Christ, she is just smoking hot in that uh, white top. So... Uh, this should be a pretty decent match. So Selena Vega is gorgeous. That's her name. What a great match. I am surprised. My expectations weren't that high for that match because I wasn't looking forward to it, but that was just great. That might have just stolen the show. Man, if this is the kind of tone we're going to get, this might be the best NXT ever. Um, match was so good. So much back and forth. So many false finishes in the first match. Now, the one thing I liked about it, uh, or maybe my people don't like, is the, how the, the match ended. It ended with... Uh, Savita, she threw a shirt. They showed, uh, after, to get back to that, um, I think she threw a Chompa shirt or a do-it-yourself sh- shirt at him. That's why he uh, kind of freaked out. And I liked how they didn't really play it up as much as they should have at the end. I think the announcers missed that. But uh, another thing I liked at uh, um, right after that, after the match, a great match, they show Daniel Bryan and Kurt Angle in the press booth, and Daniel Bryan is talking to Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. wonder what that means. Maybe that means we get to see him soon, because I'm a big fan of them both, especially Peyton. Up next is the tag title match. Again, have lower expectations for this, but then hopefully they surprise me again. And uh, I guess Vega, that uh, the woman I was talking about earlier who's smoking out, that's actually Savio Vega's daughter. Didn't know that. So tag match is about to start. Holy shit, that was another great match. That tag team match ruled. Lots of brawling to start. Um, it got, you know, it started really fast paced. I was a little worried. I don't know how good the authors of Pain are. Um, I thought it was a little early to beat them, but we have new champs. Sanity wins. Great match. A big thing that happened early on was, um, it was really going to be the authors against just, uh, Alexander Wolf and Killian Dane, but then, uh, before the match really officially began, they, they brawled, but then, Eric Young put himself in the match, and the match ended up being really good. Sort of had some slow moments, but then the the last, the third part of the match was just holy shit! It was nuts. Um, you know, the best part in my opinion, uh, you had a whole bunch of dives. Nikki Cross does a dive while um, the referees arguing with Paul Ellering. Nikki Cross does a dive. One of the authors catches her, and then uh, while she's in. Uh, one of their hands, Killian Dane comes in and do, do, does a dive. Like he jumps on Nikki Cross's back while well, she's in uh, one of the authors' hand, and they go through a table. That was nuts. And then Sanity gets the win. We have new tag champs. Even crazier. Red Dragon makes their debut. They don't get to celebrate. Red Dragon comes in, beats the shit out of Sanity. Uh, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. Great moment. Crowd went down. This show's been awesome. Another great match. Hideo, Tommy, and Alistair Black is next. I think Black's going to get a big entrance. JR. Uh, JR is back. He's doing commentary for this match. Hopefully it's as good as the last takeover match he called with uh, Tyler Bate and Pete Dunne. Uh, also, uh, I thought forgot to mention for the tag match, they brought out Corey Graves. I'm assuming they'll probably bring out Lita for the women's match. But uh, Tommy and Black is next. Entrance was pretty damn great. He had a live musical performance and he had all these candles and the smoke. It was pretty damn good. Alistair Black won a really good match against Hideo. I really enjoyed it. They really uh, put over the Black Mask. Uh, Alistair Black wins with the Black Mask at the end. Very hard-hitting match. Very physical. Alistair Black bled a lot from his nose during this match. Uh, you know, they didn't have the doctor intervene, even though they had him put on the gloves. Thankfully, they didn't think the fans would have killed him like they did with Balor and Joe. Um, so the match was still... Uh, I really enjoyed it. Very stiff like I expected. Hard hitting. Um, JR did a good job calling the match. And uh, I enjoyed it. So uh, they're really pushing Alistair Black. I think, you know, I think they have big plans, uh, big things planned for him. And I think uh, maybe even a title run in NXT is on the future. I don't know what's next for Tommy, unless it's the main roster. I mean, it might just be he's gone. I don't know what they're going to do with Tommy now. I wonder what's going to be next, if we're going to have the woman main event or the NXT title match. 
So I think the women are gonna are up next. Um, I, I was hoping they'd go on last. I'm just more interested in this match and then the main event. I'm just, I'm just not into that main event. I don't think I'm. I think the main event might be the weakest match on the show for me personally. But a uh, woman are next. I was kind of hoping they'd go on last, but it is what it is. Oh my god, that match was fucking awesome. That was just great. Holy fuck. When Ember Moon hit the eclipse, I thought it was done. The whole audience thought it was done. Every single person got on their feet. One, two, Asuka kicks out. Holy shit. This match was awesome. It was just great. I, oh, th- this was, it was so exciting. The false finishes were excellent. It, you thought it could be over so many times during the match. You thought, oh my god, Ember Moon's going to win this match near the end of the match. I was thinking, Ember's going to win this. They're going to put the belt on Ember Moon. I just thought the match was fantastic. Um, Asuka winning with the um, the Asuka lock was great. Uh, you know, I love how they keep the streak, uh, they keep it intact. The streak shouldn't end. You know, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know if they're going to ever break the streak, but Asuka is one of the hottest things in the whole company right now. She is on fire. She is tearing it up. She is the best women's wrestler um, they've ever had. It's not close. That match is just fantastic. Best match of the show so far. Even better than the opener, which was excellent with Gargana and Almas. That was just a great match. There's no way SummerSlam's going to top this. I can. There's no way they can do it. They don't have any chance to top this show. It's not even close. I don't think they're just going to blow SummerSlam away after the show so far. That was just excellent. After the match, um, after Asuka leaves, they show Ember Moon in the ring. I'm thinking to myself... I don't know if they're going to go, keep Asuka undefeated, but I'm thinking to myself, I'm, I mean, you kind of got, uh, you know, the fans were booing Ember at first, they were really into Asuka, but they really started to get into her too, and I'm thinking to myself, Ember Moon is from Dallas, Texas, the next takeover is in Houston for Survivor Series weekend, if you're going to do the title change, maybe that's the time to break the streak, maybe that's the time to put on Ember, I think eventually they're building up to that, it really reminded me last year with Gargano and Ciampa losing to the Revival and the Brooklyn show, and then, uh, when they get in the NXT Toronto show, I think this might be the time to do it. I think this is the time. If they're going to break the streak, if they're not, have Asuka face someone else. I think you're going to have her beat Ember three times because I think there's a potential on Ember in NXT. But I think that might be where uh, they break the streak in uh, Houston with Ember Moon in her home state. She's uh, from Dallas. But they, I think that might be where they do it. I loved that match. That was just that was awesome. So main event's up next. I'm not too high on this. It just feels like a, almost a tune-up match of who's going to face Roderick Strong on NXT TV. Stephen, I'm not into McIntyre. I just, uh, something about the guy just kind of bores me. Uh, but hey, look. Hopefully we get a cool Robert or uh, Bobby Roode glorious entrance. So uh, Drew McIntyre. I don't know if this means Ra. Roode's not getting the big entrance, but... They have uh, this uh, the Scottish bagpipes, and right when I heard that, I just had a huge smile on my face. I thought of Roddy Roddy Piper. It's the, you know, always a uh, grand over hear that, but uh, McIntyre's out first to this big entrance. They did the same stupid entrance with Rude. It seemed like the piano was off a bit. It was just the piano, you know, screen on the ramp, and they played this glorious. I wish they'd do with the big entrance. It's like with the choirs again, but I guess they used that for a McIntyre. So let's see what these two got in the main event. Let's see if Adam Cole makes his debut. One thing I'm just annoyed the hell out of is the fans. They are driving me nuts on this show. They did a lot in the women's match, and now they keep doing this match. Whenever there's a two count, after I go, two, sway! Shut up, you losers. We have a new NXT champion, a great main event, and another great match. This show's been awesome. Drew McIntyre is the new NXT champion. Um, I saw the ending coming when he's going to, when they do that double DDT spot. They did the same thing with Cena Nakamura on Smack in a few weeks ago, but it's still awesome. Still love the finish. New champ. Wow. What a great show. McIntyre beats Bobby Roode in just a, just a great main event. So, um, again, the two sweet stuff annoyed me, but th- this show has been, it's been so fucking awesome. It's crazy. This, this, I think this is the best takeover. I think, you know, th- this is the best one. What else was better? I mean, the first Brooklyn was great. The Dallas show was pretty damn awesome with Nakamura and Tammy. Um, the, Chicago, that was fucking awesome. The Our Evolution show going back, that was great too. But I think this might have been the best one. The amount of great matches. Um, the opening match, Gargano 
and Almas was great. A tag match was really good. Uh, Tommy and uh, Alistair Black was really good. Woman's match was awesome, and the main event was great. So, yeah, I mean, every single match was either great or very, very good. Nothing just good. It's just, oh, man, I think this was the best one. What an awesome show. <laughs> I That ending was so awesome. Just a major mark moment. I love the show. They showed the ending uh, video part. You know, at the end of every show, they show the thing at the side of the screen, the... You know, that showing the show's over. I did not buy it for one second. You can hear the crowd going nuts. I'm thinking to myself, oh shit, it's him, it's Kyle or, or um, it's uh, <laughs> it was Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly came, but right when I heard that, I knew it was Adam Cole. Adam Cole gets a massive reaction. So, what happened was uh, McIntyre is thinking, so what the fuck? Why is the crowd going nuts? And all of a sudden, you see uh, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly on in the corner of the on the ring, and he he you know, has a confused look on his face. And then from the crowd comes Adam Cole. Crowd goes nuts. Everyone knew who he was. The announcers didn't even pretend to not know who he was. They went nuts. He beats. Um, they all beat the shit out of uh, McIntyre, and I guess that's our new stable. It's like a heel NXT stable now. Uh, it's kind of, in a way, reminds me of The Shield when they first debuted. It's these three guys, two of them from the Indies, one of them was not. But it, it, it kind of reminded me that they're going to be this new NXT stable. This is going to be pretty awesome. So you have Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish all uh, one team in that, uh, and the new NXT a new NXT faction. That's gonna be really great to see those three in NXT now. And uh, this show was this was an awesome show. And I think I would say this is the best takeover they've ever done. <laughs>